Hi. Today I'm going to prep my face with this Prorazzo pre-shave cream. I'll be right back. Start the show. Um, today my razor is going to be this three-piece Bakelite uh, PAA uh, open comb razor, slant, very nice. And um, my soap, if you'll allow me to reach over here, is going to be one of these uh, special edition Vitos soaps, uh, the Susan Darnell variety. Uh, maybe they're all Susan Darnell soaps, I don't know, but cinnamon in the tub here with a very light scent of cinnamon, not an overpowering scent. And I've already lathered up my brush, which is going to be this KC Shaving Company uh, Silver Tip Badger brush. And my blade on its first use will be a Vijon, whoops, excuse me, just put that anywhere, hi, uh, Vijon Super Platinum blade right there. Ooh, there you go, sort of. Okay, let me uh, wet this brush just a little bit and get started. Oh, a nice shot on my forehead there. I may have to go get that cap at the break here and put a cap on. I just buzzed my head, by the way, <clears throat> not too long ago. So, mm -hmm. a little bit more water here. Just dip the tips of that. The brush is already wet, but nice lather, nice soap, <clears throat> very mild scent. Scent strength of about a one out of ten. In fact, my pre-shave cream has more scent probably than this soap, but it's not a bad soap and it's not a bad scent from either product. Now to wet the razor. And uh, first pass with the grain, here we go. Almost three days worth of growth here, at least two, two and a half. I haven't used this razor in a long time it's a good razor, but it's a little bit aggressive in my experience and in the experience of some other gentlemen I've seen use it. Not for everyone. This won't be an aggressive razor for everyone, but uh, for some of us it does seem to be. But it seems to be mowing down the stubble, which is a good thing. We all want that. And even though this is a very light uh, Bakelite razor, um, all except for the metal screw that holds the uh, top on, it's all made of Bakelite. A new Bakelite. Newer, I should say. Brought back as a material by uh, Douglas Smythe at PAA, but that's pretty good so far. I might uh, break here also and put a hat on, but uh, I'm gonna rinse the razor too. Okay, hello from Chicago and hello from a motel in Tucum here in New Mexico. Sort of a Route 66 thing we got going on here today.
The uh, blade I'm using is rather smooth. I would say it errs more on the side of smoothness than sharpness, but again, that's my experience with it. Your mileage may vary. Well, sometimes this razor gives me weepers. I don't know if it has yet, but we'll see. This was my first slant razor and my second open comb razor. I hope everyone's having a good week, or well, good week in now, and uh, I hope your week ahead will be good. Well, I'm really getting some lather off here, as well as the whiskers. Okay, uh, well that's all for this pass. I'll come back. We'll do a second pass and that will be across the grain. Okay, it's time for that second pass across the grain. Here we go. Very warm outside here. And there's been a lot of rain, so it's very warm and humid. And it may rain all this coming week, I don't know. They keep changing their minds, it seems like. Being that meteorology is, as they've said, an, exact, an inexact science. Not an exact science, but an inexact science. I wasn't feeling the best in the West. I think something I ate got to me. I don't think I had the COVID virus. I assume I would know if I had that, but us younger people, and you know I'm only 39, we could have the virus and not know it necessarily, be asymptomatic, but we've got to be careful around the older folks because that ventilator that they put on you if you're that bad off isn't just a mask it's a tube that goes down your throat and it's very uncomfortable and they pretty much have to keep you in a coma while you're on that uh, it's not fun I'm sure excuse me so everyone do be careful for yourselves and for the older folks or those with weakened immune systems or people like me with diabetes I'm lucky I don't have COPD or something like that. My respiration last time I checked was fine. I was blowing 100%. Well, I wasn't really blowing anything, I, but the thing they put on your finger that can tell your respiration listed me at 100%. I've got a little weeper over here. No big deal. I'll just have to be more careful. Okay, excuse me. Okay, I'll switch hands just for this side of my neck here on this path. Going across the grain on my neck is never easy, it seems like. It's always problematic. I have another uh, slant razor that is not open comb. 
that uh, works really well for me on the trouble spots. And being that I have had so much growth for this shave, two or three days growth, this razor also being a slant and an open comb may help mow some of that down on those trouble spots. I'm going to pause here, pop out, pop right back in, and freshly lathered, I hope, for a third pass against the grain. Okay, it's time for that third pass against the grain. Here we go. I'll start on my neck this time. Trouble spot over here on my left, over here, underneath the ear. The flipper over here, maybe the other side of the neck. Okay. I caught the camera there with the bill of my hat again, or with my head. It was wobbling, but I tried to remedy that. Flip the razor over again and get the other side of the face. see. Turn it over again for above the lip. Where I need to be especially careful. That's all I'm going to do on that. I'll come back and then it'll be pickup time. Okay, it's pickup time, everybody. Crazy clock tells us that it's pickup time. Yay. Hi there. Okay. Do these pickups or touch ups on the neck? Especially a these trouble spots, I hope. Not a lot to say in this shave, just a nice shave overall. So far, pretty nice. 
a little rough because of the open comb slant razor and the fact that it bites me a little bit but it's aggressive for me it may not be at all so for some of you different faces different shades Let's see. Rinse this once. Let's see how we're doing here. I've got pretty much a DFS shave here. Right at DFS, I would say. And I'm not going to go too crazy chasing BBS this time. But it's a nice shave. I'll come back, I'll rinse uh, everything off, and uh, we'll see our good friend, Mr. Tao. Here he is, star of stage and screen. It's our good friend, Mr. Tao. Ooh. Ah. Uh, yeah. Mm. Nice shave that. Very nice. Mm. Very nice. Okay. Now I'll do a brief recap and put the finishing touches on the shave here. Put Mr. Towel away. <clears throat> Come on, Mr. Towel, go back where you belong. Okay. Well, off camera, I prep my face with this Prorazzo pre-shave cream. <clears throat> and my razor has been this three-piece Bakelite. Uh, open Comb Slant Razor by PAA, Phoenix Artisan and Accoutrements. My brush has been this uh, KC Shave Company Silver Tip Badger Brush. My soap has been this Vito Cinnamon. Um, it's a limited edition in a tub. Very light scent, but very pleasant. And... Let's see, am I forgetting anything? Oh yes, my blade on its first use, a V-John Super Stainless blade. And now, I'll reach over here, and I'm going to put on some of this toner, the Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula Alcohol-Free Lavender Toner, right here. So, now let me shake it up a little bit. Kind of got the floor wet when I was rinsing my face. Oh, oh that's nice. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Yeah. That's nice. Okay, and that's the uh, Thayer's lavender which hazel alcohol free toner there um now for sort of uh i guess what you call a cinnamon and spice uh shave i'm going to add the spice aftershave from family dollar comparable to old spice and i've had some say that the scent of this is closer to the original old spice than what they're selling as old spice now i can't tell you that for sure but it's a nice scent Ooh, ooh, yeah. I uh, forgot to hit the pressure points here and then slap it on the face. 
getting some sting from that, but that's supposed to just mean it's doing its job. One more thing and then I'll go here. Um, and let me show you that again. That's the Family Dollar Spice aftershave. Finally, the Nivea Men Original Replenishing Coast Shave Balm. Put on some of that. And that will uh, absorb nicely, although I'll be shiny for a minute. And that's about it, folks. Thank you for joining me. Gotta go. Peace out.